What is up, you guys? This is your boy Andy Matrix. I talk about anime, manga, video games, geek culture, and Japanese culture. And today we're gonna talk about something that's very dear to my heart. It is very, very dear to my heart because this has to do with Harry Potter and J.K. Rowling. But before we get started, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to hit the notification bell. Make sure to like this video. I'm on a journey to get 1,000 subscribers, and I very much appreciate your help. Now, Harry Potter. I'm here abounding into comics. And there's been recent news. This was on the Daily Mail of UK, but I like I like the bonding into comics, so I'm gonna read it from bonding into comics. It says UK UK University slaps content warning on Harry Potter. It says it says books can lead to some difficult difficult conversations about gender, race, sexuality, class, and identity. Now isn't that a load of fucking shit? <laughs> Oh man, man, oh man. I, you know, I keep wondering, I keep wondering, like, do the people that write this stuff, do the people that write this stuff, I mean, not, not bounding into comments because bounding into comments, they're just doing the research, but the people that make these decisions to put warnings on, on, you know, intellectual properties, did they even bother to read Harry Potter? Do they know about Harry Potter, right? Look, Harry Potter has absolutely nothing to do with gender. Harry Potter has nothing to do with race. Harry Potter, if anything, if anything, Harry Potter does have to do that there's, you know, there's the whole like wizards and muggles. Muggles are basically the non-magic people, okay? Harry Potter has nothing to do with sexuality. Harry Potter has nothing to do with class. You know what? Maybe I'll give them a break. Maybe it has something to do with class, like the ranks. Maybe a little bit. Identity? No, absolutely fucking not. Harry Potter has absolutely nothing to do with identity or like identity issues, identity politics, gender confusion. I read the, I read the, when I was a kid, I read books one through four of Harry Potter. And I think I read books one and two multiple times. Harry Potter inspired me. J.K. Rowling inspired me. If it wasn't for J.K. Rowling, I probably would not be reading. See, Harry Potter, Harry Potter is a gateway to get kids into reading. If, if you find one good book, you're going to want to read more books. It gets people into reading. That's why Harry Potter is such a big freaking deal with Scholastic and all these publishing companies. But anyways, look, look. So let's go ahead and read. Let's go ahead and read. It says, Britain's, Britain's the University of Chester has cautioned its incoming English students that the assigned study of J.K. Rowling, Harry Potter, and the Philosopher's Stone in one of their courses could lead to some difficult difficult conversations about gender, race, sexuality, class, and identity. You know something? I'm so thankful. I am so thankful that I read Harry Potter back in the 2000s when it was popular. When it, I mean, it's still popular, but back then it was, it was this huge deal. You know, it was bigger than anime back then. I'm so glad that I read it because who knows? Oh my freaking God. Who knows what they could do to Harry Potter now? I mean, these crazy people could take Harry Potter away from J.K. Rowling because she's a quote-unquote bad person. I'm going to get to that in a moment. And then add things to Harry Potter or like make a new Harry Potter movie. Make it all woke. I mean, it's just a disaster. Thank God that the Harry Potter movies are not woke. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. And then it says, I'm not going to read the whole article, just the main points here. It says, said to be assigned as part of the University English Department's approach to literature alongside Suzanne Collins' Hunger Games and, F and Philip Pullman's Northern Lights, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone inclusion earned a warning from course leader Dr. Richard Leahy. And what did the teacher say? Dr. Richard Leahy, according to the Daily Mail, it says, Dr. Leahy informed students, although we are studying a selection of young adults' texts, on this module, the nature of the theories we apply to them can lead to some difficult conversations about gender, race, sexuality, class, and identity. Did you really read? I mean, either, either he did not read the book or he's projecting his own politics, his own identity politics onto Harry Potter. That's what they're doing. That's what these leftists do. There was one time I heard a leftist say that some, some gender confused person that, that Jesus was non-binary because he came from virgin mary and the virgin mary did not have sex with anybody to give birth to jesus it's like they see gender identity everywhere you know uh these it says these topics will be treated 
objectively, critically, and most crucially with respect. He continues, if anyone has any issues with the content, please get in touch with the module leader to make them aware. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. And now I'm going to go down to our... Oh, man. Oh, Jesus Christ. I feel bad. Oh, JK. You were my role model when I was growing up. Back in middle school, high school. I love you, JK. I love you, JK. But this is what she says. Look. JK Rowling panders to these types of people, and then she gets punished by these types of people. She herself says, says, Small but important point. I never said there are only two genders. There are innumerable gender identities. One out of three. Right? So she's saying that she's saying that there's <laughs> she, oh i never said there's only two genders right okay says the person that's married to a man she's in a traditional traditional gender road relationship with two kids and now she's saying oh yeah there, yeah there's many genders right right so you pander to these people jk Rowling, and now you get punished by them and now they want to they want to put a warning on Harry Potter because they think that you are a bad person. They are relating your artwork to you, right? So it, it, this is something that people confuse. You, you don't mix, you don't connect the art to the to the creator, to, to the artist, okay? Because you know you have to separate the art from the from the artist. The, you know the same way you separate a comedian from his jokes, okay? Because it's like the person is is flawed. But the art is beautiful, you know? Human beings are flawed. And I don't want to get too too deep into that, but I mean Jesus Christ. Talk about talk about getting punished by the own by your audience that you yourself a pander to. For example, Hermione Granger. Hermione Granger, like I look, and I read the books. I read the books. That's why I'm making this video. I read the freaking books. JK Rowling in, in the early 2010s, JK Rowling says, Oh yeah, Hermione Granger. Hermione Granger, yeah, she's she's a black girl. She's a black girl. Really? Really? Hermione's a black girl. I'm pretty sure in the books that you describe her by having hazel eyes, brown, brown wavy hair. No, she's not a black girl. She's a British, she's a British white girl, JK Rowling. The only reason why she's doing this is to pander to these people. Because that's the type of person that J.K. Rowling is. And look, man, she, like, I grew up with J.K. Rowling. She is still close to my heart. You know, Harry Potter will always be one of my favorite uh, things to, uh, about my youth. But now, thank God it was in the 2000s. Because if it was now, it will be a freaking disaster. I mean, talk about getting canceled and punished and ridiculed by, your, by the very people that you pander to, man. I mean, I don't know, man. What do you guys think about this? <laughs> <laughs> putting a warning on Harry Potter, a trigger warning when it has absolutely nothing to do with gender, race, sexuality, class, and identity politics. Comment below, like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. This is Andy Matrix. Godspeed.